The green light is on. Stand by for a start in the Tap Phoenix, the Enorga running the race. Set to go. Running. At the roof, he jumped away. OK, away past there. Spotted off to lead, certainly down. Koblenz Handy followed by Wow, she's fast. As they turn to the back, Aston Rupee is about fifth in the centre. As they turn down the back straight and Spotted Elk was the leader. Went down the back about three in front. Wow, she's fast. They were followed by Koblenz, who's third. Over to the inside, then Jungle Juice followed by Vice Grip. And then came Aston Rupee. Out to the tail is Billy Creek and True Kalinda. Turning for home, though. Wow, she's fast. Takes over. And Wow, she's fast. Is coming away to win the Phoenix. Second spotting out of Spotted Elk. And third is Koblenz. And they were followed by Billy Creek. Behind them, then came True Kalinda. Followed then by Aston Rupee. And out to the tail running Vice Grip and also Jungle Juice. And the time is around 29.69. What a run. Number four, Phoenix, Jackie Green, OP with doubt at her class. No doubt about that tonight. What a thrill. Absolute thrill. She just, uh, when she missed it a little bit, and I thought, oh, I bet she got a clear run through, and I thought she's chasing one that's not real strong, so please keep going. Kelvin had some doubts about her, given where she's at at this stage of her career, but tonight it's got to be a reflection of the steps she's taking to become one of the sport's best sprinters. Yeah, that's a huge step for her. Like to, to front up against dogs like that, and she's only had a half a dozen starts, is, um, is fantastic. And a fair cheer from the crowd as well. I mean, we've, we've heard some big cheers in the past, but I mean, that was huge. What a noise to hear at a Greyhound track. Yeah, when I waved to them as I went past, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have woken up the monster, and I did, but they were great. Loud and proud, he's been terrific tonight. To you and Cal and the whole team, congratulations. Thank you, and I'd like to thank Sportsbet. They've been wonderful through this whole thing. Absolutely wonderful, they are. Jackie Greeno there after Wow, she's fast, takes out the inaugural running in the Tab Phoenix, Mark. Yeah, uh, and very well done to not only the Greenos, but also the slot holders in Sportsbet. They put their faith in this Greyhound very early doors. When we interviewed Kel on the catching pen, he came out and said, We've already had interest, and that was after the first start, Jason Lincoln. Uh, and they've come away with the biscuits here in 29.655. 5.03, the first section for Spotted Elk was brilliant away. Wanted to get off, but was much better than a, her two trials. Has ended up running second, and in for third will be eight. Koblenz couldn't get across early. One Billy Creek's run fourth. Brilliant. Outstanding, but what a result. Wow, she's fast at $11 and $3.30. Well, I, look, if I've heard a bigger cheer on a rate at a Greyhound meeting, I can't remember what it was. Um, Stanley Road, probably, like probably half, the only thing that comes close for mine. Yeah, but not even. That was raucous. It was not like that. They were absolutely mad for it, the boys. When she emerged the second up the back, it was pretty obvious she was going to win. And when they all cottoned on to the fact she was going to win... <laughs> My God. So they put a little fence around them. The fence is in about 15 different pieces along the ground at the moment. And look, who can blame them? They were literally jumping out of the grandstand almost. It was celebrations. Amazing. It was incredible to watch. Uh, this is what the story is all about. Many of those people may be new people to the sport. And this is fantastic to see. The only question I've got is I hope they don't want to get them a dice and get their photo taken. <laughs> it's going to be a long procession if they're all going to want their photo. Yeah, indeed. No, well done to G. Jackie and Kel Greeno taking out plenty of feature races in their time and just lobbed in the ideal position. Let's talk about the race and how it unfolded. Jason Lincoln, Spotted Elk. Yeah, 187,000-odd going uh, the way of Greyhound welfare, which is a, a wonderful commitment by sports, but they have to be commended for that. But just on how the race unfolded, uh, Spotted Elk was brilliant away in, 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 you know, against some very, very elite Greyhounds. Yeah, well, she did exactly what we thought she'd do, and she began well, shifted up the track. But the dog that we thought would be in the slot that wow, she's fast was, was Jungle Juice. Mm. That's how we mapped the race. Well, guess what? He came out behind the others and that spot had to be filled and it was the girl. And once she was there, we know how strong she is. I think we've been, well, I know I've been on record as saying if, when the day comes, they step her up over more ground, she could go down as one of the greatest stayers ever. Well, guess what? She's just won the first Phoenix. Yeah, absolutely. At start seven. It's at incredible. start seven, Troy. Yeah, look, it's remarkable. Uh, the story about all well, top four stories are remarkable. Wow, she's fast for the age and what she's done, the step up in class. Uh, she takes home the yep. $750,000. And, 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 and the Melbourne Cup winner, uh, Melbourne Cup winner Koblenz, uh, despite not getting across, has still been very good to manage to beat the rest of the field home to, to run.